Well, with the country so divided, speaking of, we look for ways to come together to connect through leadership. Martin Luther King Day is tomorrow. What can we learn through his leadership? I'm joined by author and leadership coach Omar Harris next, who says compassion and empathy is key. Tomorrow is Martin Luther King Day, a leader, of course, who spoke about hope and promise, empathy in a time of civil unrest right now. The storming of the Capitol, the National Guard deployed ahead of the inauguration. So many states, protests, riots, you name it, global pandemic. We can't help but think about Martin Luther King Jr. and his leadership during this time. Omar Harris, author of the Servant Leaders Manifesto, is with me. And you also are a leadership coach. So good to have you on. Thank you, Susan. Very happy to be here. Yes, what is key? Sorry to interrupt. What is key here? We're getting used to the COVID interview type is empathy, sympathy and being able to connect with others. Is that right? Yes, I think more leaders need to lead with love today, like MLK did. You know, Martin Luther King was someone who wasn't elite, wasn't especially privileged. But what he did have was tremendous influence and ability to gain trust. And that's why he was able to accomplish so many things for so many millions of people uh, so many years ago. Saying darkness cannot drive out darkness, only light can do that. Can you teach someone, though, to be a leader if they don't have that innate way of empathizing with others, if it's just a void there? We've seen before that a lack of leadership, what it can lead to. So it is definitely vital that they have that criteria. Definitely. I think leaders need to upweight their compassion right now. If you don't, if you feel you have a depth of empathy, you can at least be compassionate for uh, the circumstances of everyone around you. And you can connect with what people are going through today. I think that that's the most essential thing that leaders forget is that they have to establish these bridge, strong bridges and connections with, uh, with the everyday people. And that's how you regain trust. And Omar, you're not just talking the talk. You've worked in corporations, Pfizer, who you worked with. You've also traveled really the world. And I think connecting with others and getting along with others outside of your own circle can lead to good leadership as well. Well, definitely. The key is adaptability, listening, uh, communicating, staying connected, um, staying close to people. And, and that's really what, and also, Ignoring your own ego in, in, in favor of trying to connect more with other people is very important. And do you necessarily have to be an outgoing person to be a great leader, or can you do it in kind of a, a mild, different way? Because there's different types, as you know. Yeah, there's no one way, one size fits all approach to leadership. I just preach that people need to connect with humility, will, and empathy. The best leaders in history have led with humility, will, and empathy, including Martin Luther King. You have written five books and your latest one. How was it writing that? And is it still a thrill for you, the process? I love to write. It's my passion. Um, the process of the last recent book was very challenging because my mother was suffering from cancer at the time mm -hmm. as I was writing the book. But um, I got to show her the book before she passed away, and it was a moment of, uh, of pride for both of us. So I'm happy oh, she got to see it. I'm thinking of you, and I'm sure that your mother is proud, and we're thinking of your family as well. Omar Harris, thank you so much. Thank you Some great you. points there. Going to buy the book. Omar, appreciate it.